What's going on my dudes? Here is my flawless match for the weekend. Now I usually play solo, so this is giving you guys hopefully a little bit of help with a solo player's mindset when I go into Trials of Osiris and attempt to do flawless games. So that is kind of the intro here. Let's get right into the gameplay and yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. By the way, my playstyle of choice is with Pulse Rifle and Fusion Rifle. I know that Hand Cannon Shoddy will always be the meta, but I really enjoy my Pulse Rifle. A couple of thousand kills on it. So challenging in the middle here, but flag is off to the left. Both my teammates running in there. I'm trusting them to hold the zone, or at least pressure them away from it and into me, which is exactly what happened. So as you can see, I went for a flank and it did pay off. Now they have nowhere to go because they have two guys in front and me on the side. If they do not challenge me single, which they did not, then I win the round. If they choose to challenge me, my teammates flank them from behind, and they did a beautiful job of following up with what they saw me doing. So that was perfect. Wow. Round one is done. So on this side, I usually like taking the left. I don't jump or anything like that. I don't have a high handling or a lightweight pulse, so it takes me a little bit to get there. Homeboy ended up tagging me with that grenade, so to tag back, I put my smoke grenade over there. So now we tagged each other, and then I ner uh, whiffed that one. So I knew he was down, and before he could get to his revive, because that's what he was going to go after, I chose to make a run for it, even though I only had half health. But it ended up being the right play. My teammate there sacrificed himself for the good of the cause. There's a round up here that I end up losing because I play like an idiot, but, you know, that does happen sometimes too. All right. I really don't like it when it's down there in the bowl. The options feel so limited. Anyway, this guy right there... I think the right play would have been to chase him down. Instead, I broke off, thinking I was going to help my teammates over here, which sounds smart until you realize that I should have been up there with him. But because I broke off like that, he was able to take that middle lane right there, meaning they're now splitting us. So this round being lost was my fault. That guy in the middle, because I didn't take him out like I should have, ended up taking out my teammate who pushed up for the revive on our teammate that went down. And then they were able to collapse on me like that. So that is absolutely my fault right there. You could make the case that they pushed up too far, but they were holding a zone, and I didn't give either the proper support, and I didn't cover my back or cover the flank, which is what a proper support anchor is supposed to do. So I learned my lesson from that, that even if I push the guy off the area, he'll still re-engage the area, so I took note of that. So same area that I like going to right here and off to the left, and this guy really likes hugging all the way over there because I... I I don't know what he's trying to do, but he seems to enjoy taking that particular angle. Now, here's a head glitch, by the way. This guy jumped the gun trying to get the heavy too early. It's an obvious thing for me to cover. And with the pulse rifle getting kill clip after that, I can head glitch and use that heavy weapon right there as an objective-based thing for me to cover. So both of them, I mean, if they played it a little bit differently, they, they had a chance. But no, not against somebody with kill clip on a pulse rifle. That's the best pulse rifle in the game, if I'm not mistaken. So again, it's down there in the bowl. I don't really like it when it goes in the fishbowl. I like coming this way and I jump just because I want to make sure I break line of sight, but I did jump too late. Now, this guy did decide that he was going to stay here and challenge. Remember, I noted, I notated that already. I got flanked by this guy, which was smart on his part to slice through the middle of us like that instead of him just holding the zone on his own. And he goes for his revive, which is the proper play in this case. I switch over to something that can give me ammo because SMGs are really good from up close. We got to start pushing on this guy. So he went down and you could see my teammates pushing them forward, which means they're going to push them away from it. So I came this way again and they didn't learn, you know, the lesson. They did not retreat into me. Instead, they tried to take a 2v1. But those are things that you need to learn, right? So that's how we go. Switching back to the fusion rifle because that is the smart thing to do. It is the one tap that I need in a trials match as opposed to the SMG. SMG is really good, by the way, but it's just better to have the one tap potential and really shut somebody down. So same position off to the left. This is my little pathway here. They haven't really been doing a good job of challenging me or shutting me down over here. I always go off solo that way. And if he's not realizing what I'm doing, then, you know, it's going to be to his detriment. So moving forward for flank so that I can help my teammates out if he revert, if he uh, escapes, but he didn't get through because my teammate was awesome. And that's a flawless match right there. Going to the lighthouse now. Nothing to it, my dudes. Quick match. It was uh, three, maybe three and a half, four minutes or something like that total. And now you guys have a good idea of where my head is at when I do these things. I'm all about flanking. That's my playstyle. And if they were to actually adjust what they're doing to my playstyle, meaning they would communicate in such a way that they would take me on 1v1 or 2v1, and then they would cover my orb, that would be the proper way to try to take me out. But they didn't do that. 
they kept going after the two people instead of the one guy flanking them, so it always allowed me to have free range to get all the shots I needed to take them out. I'm not trying to criticize or critique, I'm just saying in that particular case on that team, if they were going to win that match, they needed to take care of me first. And they never did that. They just let me move up to my position each and every time. The guy tried to challenge me even though he was half health, which was actually smart in that instance, but I learn as I play what somebody is doing and what their tendencies are. So since this guy decided to push in through the middle the second time that we were in that situation, I did not allow him the opportunity to do that. And I think my teammates realized that too because they actually came forward to cover me after I missed the second guy. Well, the guy came through the middle and got me. So that's how we learn. Anyway, that's the video, my dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys like these, let me know in the comment section down below. That is it. If you want to see the loot drop that I got, I don't remember what I got. I don't think it was very good. Um, it went to the Postmaster... And I think it was like, I don't, remember, I don't remember what it was. It wasn't any good. I ended up sharding it. The funny thing is, is the one that's not adept is the role that I want, which is range finder and target lock. But it's not an adept weapon, so it feels like I'm kind of missing out. Even though I'm not, it's a perfectly fine weapon. But it just feels like it's not a fine weapon because it's not the adept version. I understand how childish that sounds. <laughs> all right, my dudes, thanks again. Love all you guys. Keep it zen out there. In the trying times to come. Fight, win, and fight again. This